my smithy. And hopefully you'll be able to hear everything okay. Um, generator's running. We're 100% solar. Um, so when we have too many gray days in a row, we have to uh, use the generator to power up the batteries. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. So hopefully you can hear me okay. I'm going to do a project um, today that I've been wanting to do it for quite a while. I've never done this before. I've never really done anything like it before. Well, I've done some stuff like it, but not not this. I'm going to build an axe. Uh, there's different ways of, of building axes. Um, I, like I said, I've never done this before. I never, I didn't do a whole lot of research on it. Uh, a lot of them, they split in the front and put a embed a piece of uh, higher carbon steel in the front, so it keeps a sharp edge. I don't have borax to weld it, and I don't have my coal forge um, running right now either, which is your best way. Um, all I have right now is my gas forge. Um, I'm having trouble finding good coal other than ordering it on the internet. So right now I'm using my gas forge. Um, I, I've made some things, like I said, I have made some things like this. Uh, I'll show you some things that I made. Uh, first one is a, a tomahawk head. Um, that was made out of a piece of inch by inch by six inches long, solid steel. Um, hopefully you can see it all right. Then uh, this was uh, another one, a chisel that I made for building the cabin, uh, chiseling out the notches and such. Um, that was just out of a solid piece of steel. This here, it's concave. Um, this was made out of a um, railroad spike. Um, it's actually done for making bowls and um, like spoons and, and such like that, wooden spoons and stuff. Um, I did make a spoon. I might uh, make a video on that. I also made one that was a bigger one that's concave for doing like notches. If you were around a notch on, for a round wall on a cabin or something like that or uh, carving, you know, down and stuff like that. So they they hold a good edge, um, nice and sharp. So I'm going to use this axe as a template um, to get my space. I got to build a swage that allow me to get that hole down in my steel. Um, I got a bunch of hole through that steel. What I'm going to use is a chunk of uh, railroad tie. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the top of this off, the top of the track off, and, well not railroad tie, railroad track, sorry. Um, and that's what I'm going to make my head out of. I'm going to pound it out of that. Um, No, I did not go out and cut a chunk of railroad track out of a railroad track somewhere. Uh, a friend of mine gave that to me. Um, so, I don't know. I'm going to have to cut this out with a torch and stuff. I'm limited to my time on the videos. Um, so it's going to probably be segments. And I'm limited to my space on my car on the uh, camera. So. It's going to be, you know, split up. There's, I'm going to be shutting things down. And then you'll see me pick up at another spot. I'll try and explain what I did and stuff like that. 
um, show you, you know, I'm trying to show you clips as I'm going. Um, that way you can kind of see what's going on. Um, so, I guess with that said, I'm going to cut, cut this uh, piece off and uh, build my swage. And um, I'll get back to you. I'll, I'll come back to you and uh, show you where we're at. So, alright, we'll see you a little bit. guys I'll tell you what I did when I got done um, what I've done is I've taken the track it's a little warm yet the top part of the track the train would run on and uh, I've cut it down smoothed that my cut off and uh, I drilled a hole in there, I hope you can see that, in through here, that'll be give me a starting point. Then, just took me a piece of flat steel, ground it down to a point, hopefully you can see this, and uh, hardened it a little bit, and uh, what I'll do first is, I'll take and uh, drive my chisel, Start my chisel, driving that down through, back so far, hopefully, I don't know, like I said, I hope you can see this, there, and then I'll move forward and start going down in there, that'll give me a starting point, and then I'll take and uh, take this, and then I'll start driving this down, down through, of course, you know, I'll heat, heat it up in the forge. And this is my swage that I made. Oh, you can see. It's, it's uh, I don't know. I hope you can see all this. Um, it's tapered. And that was actually the bottom part. This here was, this taper was actually the bottom part of the track. They nailed the spike fast to the railroad tie. Then I took a piece of ground stock and welded it fast to this piece down here and smoothed it off. And I welded a, a piece on the top here that gives me something to hammer against. Um, I don't know. I hope this works. Um, I don't know. I said it's still warm. Um, like I said, I hope this works. I've never done this before, nothing like this before. So I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but uh, we're gonna keep rolling with it and uh, I'll keep showing you steps and stuff as I go. So uh, we'll see you here in a little bit. All right, guys. Uh, I got my, uh, the head, what's going to be the head in the, uh, forge there. Um, let's see, see it there. What, uh, I'll have to do, I'm going to flip this over. My thongs aren't, aren't long enough. Um, there we go. I don't have a uh, tongs that uh, that uh, I don't have a tongs quite wide enough so I'm gonna have to use a probably use like a vice grips or uh, you know something of that nature C clamp something like that to hold it um, while I'm uh, pounding it's kind of it's gonna be kind of hard um, 
in places that they make these, um, you know, axes and stuff, um, they actually have uh, either a big like hammer machine or they have uh, let me move this back a little bit here. machine has a plate on it and then it hammers it comes down or there's two people working on the thing one person's holding the other person's hammering so I don't know how this is gonna go um, start, it's starting to turn red a lot of metal there to heat up. Um, I don't know. I don't know, like I said, how this is going to go. So there's just two people doing this. But we're going to try. See if we had. I wish I had one of the big machines. It'd be nice. But uh, of course, never fit my little smithy. The smithy's only like, I think it's like 10 by 12. So, just a little thing, but, well, thought I'd show you this and uh, explain a little bit. Um, maybe I'll record a little bit of me trying to get it hammered and stuff, uh, which I, I will. Um, but trying to get my hole started and stuff like that, I'll try and show that. So, alright, see you in a bit.